And then right when you go to take it off, when you get to the end, drop it down first, but leave it pushing towards the thread. And then bring the bottom of the filter down, touch, pull forward, and then pull out. And then you don't get it all over the place. Another thing to be careful of with these FL500 is over the last couple weeks, I've seen a lot of, this has got a real nice thread on the end of it. It catches real good. This one here, I just took it back off the truck because I'm trying to screw it on. And that first thread is like collapsed. There's like no thread there at all. It's like they completely machined the top of this FL500 completely wrong. It won't even thread on there. You get it set and it'll act like right there where it wants to stay. It won't thread. It just, it'll just keep spinning and falling right back off. See there, here, trying to get it, you feel like it's about to catch, and then it kicks sideways. The threads are machined very, very, very bad on these. On, I, we found like four of these the last two weeks. Nice and wiped out and dry. At first one of the lube techs grabbed me a couple weeks ago and was like, hey, this filter won't spin on here. And I was like, come on, man, you don't know what the hell you're doing. So I go over there and I try to spin the filter on, and sure enough, would not spin on. Go grab another one off the shelf, spins right on. A couple days later, same thing happened. Had to go get another one off the shelf. I'm like, is this just like a bad batch? Is there, and then we had new filters come in from a different shipment and we grabbed one of the FL500s out of that, same damn thing happened. Wouldn't spin on. Same thing happened to me today. I go grab a 500 off the shelf and they're trying to spin it on and it'll catch like half of the thread. It's like the, the, the first thread is machined very, very thin and almost like it's not even there and it's not true to the filter. It's almost like it's machined on an angle because once you catch that first thread, the filter is almost wanting to start pitching. So I had to go back in there, grab the new filter you see in the video and spun right on there, no problem at all. So watch those FL500s, you technicians that are out there, because there has been uh, an issue the last couple weeks.